there, my name is Kelly Dale and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute brick stitch snowman earrings. Now as you can see, the little snowman, he's only about an inch and a half long and I like to put him on these little kidney ear wires. Let me see if I can get him off of here so I can show you. The little kidney ear wires look like this and these are only about yay big. And I like these because once Christmas and um, January are over, you can take your little snowman off these and um, use them for something else. And then when the holidays roll back around, you can put your snowman back on them. So I really like these. And if you buy a kit from us on our Etsy site, um, this is the kind of ear hooks that you're going to get in the actual kit. But you can put them on any kind, whatever you want. But to make the snowman, I'm using size 11 Delicas. And you're going to need a green, some sort of green for his hat. I'm just using a silver lined green. You're going to need a white for his hat and his head. Black for his eyes and his mouth. I'm using an orange for his nose. And a red, a silver lined red for his scarf. So those are the main colors that you need and again I'm using a size 11 Delicas. Normally when you do brick stitch and you're doing an actual pattern you're going to want to use the Delicas because that way they are um, uh, their cylinder shape and they will be um, a perfect, you know, they will lay exactly how you want those to. Um, I probably wouldn't try this with regular size 11 seed beads because he might come out a little wonky. So um, first you'll need one needle to do uh, one earring or one small pendant you're going to need a yard and a half and I'm going to use a six pound fire line if you have four pound fire line you can use that also so get your beads together and then I'll get you started normally I wouldn't do uh, show you how to do a brick stitch pattern like this because a lot of times they're self-explanatory but on this specific pattern, you have to do it just a little differently. Um, this is one I created a couple of weeks ago. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Now, if you need a graph, I do have a graph with the picture. And I have a written, um, written graph, which has each row and what you need to add to that row um, on our Etsy site. So if you need that, you can go there and um, get that information there. So get your materials together and we're going right, to get started. To get started, we're going to start here at the very top of his hat. Um, I like to start here because this is one of the widest parts of him. So I always start here at the very top. Now, to do the very first row, we are going to do a single row of uh, ladder stitch using our green. So, to start out, I'm going to pick up two green. And I'm going to pull them down. And now, I want to leave a long enough tail that I can go back and add my little hanger at the end. So, probably about, probably about this much, you know, about four inches. Now I'm going to take those beads and I'm going to come back up through just the very first one that I threaded on. So just the very first one and let me see if I can come in here just a little bit more. Okay, so I've come up through the very first one and I'm going to hold that bead and I'm going to pull. so that my second bead lays right next to the first bead. Now I'm going to come down through the second bead that I added. I'm going to put my fingers on it and pull straight down. So that you have, let me get it straight here, you have one thread coming out of your tail. <laughs> you have one thread coming out of your tail, bless me. You have one thread coming out of the bottom of the first one and your working thread is coming out the bottom of the second one. Now to do the hat you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. So this is one and two. So I'm going to pick up my third one. You want to come around to make a circle. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to come right back down through that same bead as 
So I've got my three side by side, and then I'm going to come up through the third bead that I just added. Pick up bead number four. I want to come around to make a circle. So I'm going to come straight up through the third bead that I added. And then I'm going to come down through the fourth bead. I'm going to pick up my fifth green. I want to come around to make a circle. So I'm going to come down through the fourth bead. And then up through the fifth bead. Pick up bead number six. I want to make a circle. So I'm going to come up through bead number six. And then, or I'm sorry, come up through bead number five and then go down through bead number six. Pick up my seventh green. I want to make that circle, so I'm going to come down through the sixth bead and up through the seventh bead. And one more time, I'm going to pick up my eighth bead. I want to make that circle, so I'm going to come around and come up through the seventh. and then down through the eighth. Just like that. Now, as you can see, our row is just a little bit wonky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave back and forth until we get to the other side. So I'm gonna come up through the seventh, down through the sixth, up through the five, down through the four, up through the three, down through the two, and then up through the one. So that when you get to the other side, your tail is coming out of the bottom and your working thread should be coming out of the top. Now, the next row on our snowman is a row of white. Now, on the white, we only have seven beads. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads. So, we want to do what's called a decrease. So, I'm going to pick up two white. And if you look here, I'm going to see if I can come in just a little closer. If you look between your beads, bead one and bead two, you have what I call a thread bridge. You have a bridge here, 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 and here. They're all between the beads. So we're not going to go through a bead, we're going to go under the thread. So to decrease, I'm going to skip the first thread and I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to wiggle it and get it under the second thread. So skip the first and go under the second. And I'm going to pull I'm going to go down through the second bead I threaded on and I'm going to hold it in place. Now when you decrease Sometimes these beads don't want to sit side by side. This first one wants to sit a little crooked instead of sitting straight. So, to make it sure that it stays straight, I'm going to come up through the white, the first white that I threaded on, and then down through the second white that I added. So at this point, 
you're just going to continue regular brick stitch. So I pick up one white. I'm not going to skip a bridge. I'm just going to go under the very next bridge. Pull. Go down through. The third or the bead you just added. So that gives you three. Pick up a fourth. Go under the very next thread bridge. And then go down through the bead you just added. Pick up a fifth white. Go under the very next thread bridge. And then go down through the white. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five white so far. So I'm going to pick up my sixth white, go under the thread bridge, and then down through the sixth bead you just added. And then finally, I'm going to pick up a white. I'm going to go under the last thread bridge. And then down through the last one I just finished. So that now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white beads. Now, my next row is a green. And it's coming in, so we're going to decrease again. And this time, we need six green. So again, to decrease, I'm going to pick up two green to start out with. I'm going to skip the first thread bridge. And I'm going to come under the second thread bridge. So skip the first and go under the second. Pull. I'm going to come down through that second green that I added. Okay, now see how this green right here is sitting wonky? We want to make sure that stays straight. So we are going to go up through the green, the first green, and then down through the second green. So that when you pull, you pull that nice and tight, that makes the first green sit straight. So now just continue with regular brick stitch. So I'm going to pick up a third green. I'm going to come under the very next thread bridge and go down through the third bead. Pick up a fourth green. Go under the thread bridge. And then down through the bead. Pick up a green. Go under the thread bridge. Through the bead. And then one more time, pick up a green. Go under the thread bridge. And then down through the green. So that you have one, two, three, four, five, six green. Okay, so we've done one, two, three rows. We're working on our fourth. And our fourth is done with the white, and we have five white beads. So again, we're going to decrease, so I'm going to pick up two white. 
I'm going to skip the first thread bridge and go under the second bridge. And I'm going to go down through the second white that I added, up through the first white, and then down through the second white so that it makes that first one sit straight. Pick up a white, go under the very next thread bridge, and go down through the white. Pick up a white, go under the very next thread bridge, and go down through it. That's our fourth white, and now we're going to pick up our fifth white, and we're going to go under the thread bridge, and then through the fifth white. So, so far, this is what we have. All right, one more decrease row. We, it's got four green. So we are going to pick up two green. I'm going to skip the first thread bridge and go under the second. So go under, go down through the green, that second green that you added. up through the first green, and then down through the second green, and pull, and that makes our green straight. Pick up one green, go under the very next thread bridge, Go down through the bead, and then pick up one green, go under the last thread bridge here, and then down through the bead. All right, so we've decreased down to four. Now, on our next row, <clears throat> here was our decrease, and our next row is quite a bit wider. And if we count, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads on this row. So, to do this row, first you have to do what's called an increase. So, we're going to pick up two green. And to do the decrease, we skipped our first thread bridge. But to do an increase, you're going to go under the first thread bridge. So to increase, you go under the first, and then down through that second green that you picked up. Now the beauty of doing an increase is that you don't have to worry about going back down through that second bead or that first bead again because it's already perfectly straight. But for what we need, we need an extra bead on each end. So we're going to go ahead and go up through the first green. I can done tell. I got a bracelet on. I'm going to have to take it off because it keeps crabbing my thread here. Okay, so I got my green. Now, I'm going to pick up a green. Picking up my extra green here. I want to come around to make a circle, so I'm going to come back up through that bead that I'm coming out of. And pull. So that when you pull, it lays out here to the side. Now, I'm going to come through my extra bead. I'm going to come up through it, down through the first bead here, and 
Okay, so that gives me my extra little bead there. But now, to get back to here, I need to be coming out of this bead here on the end to actually finish out the rest, finish out the remainder of my row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down through or up through this third bead here. Then I have to make a turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up through the first bead here on the previous row, down through this second bead, and then down through my bead that I'm already coming out of. So I'm going to come up through the first bead of the previous row. And then when I come, I'm going to go down through the second bead from the previous row. And then I'm going to come down through my last bead here on the row that I'm working on. That kind of give that makes your turn gets your extra bead added and makes your turn so that you're ready to finish the row. So now I'm going to pick up one green, go under the very next thread bridge, go down through the green, pick up one green, go under the thread bridge, so so far I have one, two, three, four, five. Five beads so far on the row, and I need seven. Technically, I don't have any thread bridges left, but I'm going to increase one bead here on the end by going under the same thread bridge that I did with this bead. So I'm going under the same thread bridge that puts my little bead there to the side, and then I'm going to come down through that bead. So that now I have a sixth bead, but just um, just like we did here on the end, I need one more bead. So we're going to add a bead just like I did here on this first end. So I'm going to pick up one green. I'm going to come around to make my circle, and I'm going to come down through that one, that sixth bead there on my row. Just like that. Now I'm going to come up through the bead and I want to reinforce this row right here because as you can see the first and the last end are a little wonky so, and I need to make another little turn so that I'm coming out of the end bead here in the right direction. So I'm going to come down through the sixth bead, up through the fifth, down through the fourth, up through the third, and now when I get to here, if I come down this bead, and then up this bead, I'm not going to be coming in at the right direction. So what I'm actually going to do at this point is I'm going to come up through the second bead on the previous row. I'm going to come down through the first bead here on the previous row and then I'm going to come right on through the first bead in my row so that when I do this is what I'll have. Now the next row is an increase again and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads in this row. So to do that, we're going to do another increase. We're going to pick up two green. I'm going to come under the very first thread bridge here. 
Remember to do an increase. We come under the first. And then I'm going to come down through the second green. And I'm going to do this whole row. I'm going to pick up a green. Go under the very next thread bridge here. Through the green. And you just want to continue this row, picking up one green, going under the thread bridge, and then so going through So when you get to the end of the row, you'll have your eight beads. You've got your increase at the beginning and the increase at the end. Now, one thing that I forgot to tell you is that here, if you pull too tightly, this first bead will sit a little wonky. So, so if you're a very tight stitcher, what you may want to do is actually stitch through the beads. Um, don't come out of this last one, but stitch through so that when you come out here, you're actually coming out of the bottom instead of just straight coming from here to here. So that way it won't be wonky. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. When you do it, you'll be able to tell and you'll know whether you need to do it or not. Now, we're done with his hat, which looks fabulous, and we're ready to start his actual head. Now his head, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a decrease um, here, but from at this point to the middle of his head is an increase, and then we're going to be doing a decrease. So to get started with his head, it has three, uh, I'm sorry, five white beads. I want to be coming out of the third bead here on the base to start his head. So I'm coming out of the first, I'm going to come up through the second, and down through the third. I'm going to pick up two beads, two white beads, and I'm going to do an increase. So I'm going to come up under the first thread here, and then down through the second white that I put on, thread on a white, come under the very next thread bridge, go through the bead, pick up a white, go under the very next bridge, I guess the snowman wants to be seen more in the video today. And then one more to have a total of our five white. So I'm going to go under the thread. Okay, so now we have the first part of his head here. The second row of his head is nothing but an increase. It's solid white, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six beads. So the very next row, you want to do an, an increase with six white beads. When you finish the second row with an increase on the front and an increase on the back here, you end up with six white beads. For the next row is an increase again. We are going to have two whites, a black, one white, a black, and two whites. So, you start with the increase, so you pick up two white, go under the very first thread bridge there, and then go through the second bead. The third bead is a black, so you'll pick up the black. Go under the very next thread bridge. Oh, good grief. I tell you, he wants to be seen more today. And then go through the black. Pick up one white. Go under the very next thread bridge. And then through the white. Pick up a black, go under the thread bridge, through the black, pick up a white, 
go under the thread bridge, go through the white, and then we got to have one more white because it's an increase row. So I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to go under the thread there that I did for my last white that I just added. And then I'm going to go through the white. So that now we have a hat and a set of eyes. For the next row, it's an increase again. And we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight white beads. So you're going to do an increase row with eight white beads. So after you've made your increase row, this is what you should have. Now we're going to be to the widest part of the head. This is an increase row. So you're actually going to have one, two, three, four white, one, two, three orange, and two white. So, to start out, I'm going to, and again, this is my increase row, so I'm going to pick up two white, and I'm going to go under the first thread bridge, and then up through the second bead here, pick up one white, go under the next thread bridge, one white and go under the thread bridge so so far I have four white now next in my pattern is three orange for the nose so I'm going to pick up one orange go under the bridge under the bridge and through the orange to finish off the snowman's head okay I never said I was a singer Okay, go under the next bridge with an orange, through the orange, pick up an orange, and go under the bridge, and then through the orange. Now I need to add two more white, so I'm going to pick up one white, go under the thread bridge, And finally, one white, go under the same bridge, and then through the white. So that gives you your increase row. Now at this point, we're ready to start decreasing. So we're going to do a row. Our very next row is all white, and it's going to have one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight white beads. So to start off for the row, you're going to pick up the two white and you are going to come under the second bridge. So skip the first and go under the second for the decrease. Go through the second white and when you do that, that first bead's going to sit a little wonky so remember, go up through it, and then down through the second white to straighten up that one bead. And then for the re remainder of the row, pick up one white, go under the thread bridge, and then through the white. And continue this row until you have eight total white beads. So after our decrease of eight, we're now ready for the next row, which is this one here. And we're going to have some black in with it. So we're going to have two white, one black, one white, one black, and two white. So to start the row, we're going to do a decrease again. And so we're going to pick up two white, go under, skip the first bridge, and go under the second bridge. Go through the white, then go up through the first, and then down through the second to straighten it up. Now we're going to pick up one black, go under the very next thread bridge, one 
one white and go under the next bridge one black and then two white. So I'm going to pick up one white and then one more. Our next row is another decrease here. It has two white, two black, and two white. So two white, so to do the decrease, I'm gonna pick up two white, skip the first bridge, and go under the second bridge. And then remember we gotta straighten up that first B because it's gonna be a little crooked. Now we're going to put on two black, so I'm going to pick up one black and go under the thread bridge. And then one black, go under the thread bridge. And then two white, so I'm going to pick up one white. And then another. Okay, so now our final row of white here is another decrease, and it has one, two, three, four, five whites. So you're going to do the decrease row of five white beads. We have the snowman head complete, and all we have to do is add his scarf. You're going to do an increase row of six red. So I'm going to pick up two red. I'm going to go under the first thread bridge. Pick up a third red, go under the thread bridge, pick up my fourth red, go under the thread bridge, fifth red, and then remember to do our last bread, we're going to go under the same thread bridge that we just went under to have our total of six. Now, the only thing that we have left to do is we need to add his little scarf tail. But we have to do this scarf tail just a little odd. So, um, I'm better doing the scarf like when I flip him this way, I don't know why, um, or you can do it this way. I'm going to try my best to explain it to you here in the right way. So you want to be coming out of the third bead. So I'm going to come up through this fifth and then down through the fourth bead. Once we get to that third bead, then we want to do a decrease row. So I'm going to skip the first and go under the second thread bridge here. And go, you know, straight it up. So go back up or back down, up, and then back down through that bead to straighten it up. Now we're going to do two beads and we're going to do an increase. So I'm going to pick up my two, and I'm going to go under that one thread bridge that I have here. And go up through the second bead that I added. 
And now this last one is a little funky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one bead because we need to do a decrease again, but it's got to still be going here at a diagonal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one bead. I'm going to go under the thread here. And then go up through my bead. And doing it this way, whoops, I must have not got under the thread there. Let me get under it good this time. There we go. And then through the bead. Now, by doing this, you're going to see a thread on the outside of the bead. But that's okay. It's not big enough to where anybody's going to be able to see it. And then you're going to pick up one bead. And you're going to go under that same thread that you just went under. And then through the bead you just added. So that when you pull... your scarf goes down at a diagonal just like you want it to. Or if you flip it this way, it's still at a diagonal. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the thread here on the very end and I'm going to do a half hitch knot. So I'm going to go through and pull that nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down through and I'm going to stitch through a few beads here. And then I'm going to tie off my thread with about one or two more half hitch knots and trim off the tail. So now that I have my snowman complete, now what I've done is threaded the needle onto my tail here at the top. And I want to be coming out of the fourth bead here along the edge. So I'm going to come, I'm coming out of the first, I'm going to come down to the second. up through the third. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be coming out of the fifth bead. Sorry about that. Down through the fourth and then up through the fifth. Very sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm coming out of the fifth bead here. I'm going to pick up six green and I'm going to come down through the fourth bead here on his hat so that when you pull, his loop sits exactly in the center of his head. Now you can go through and reinforce, tie your tail off with a couple of half hitch knots, and trim the little tail. When you're done making the loop, then you're ready to put him on the ear hook. Now if, you, if you're using a regular ear hook, just open the loop and thread it through here at the top. For my kidney wire that I'm using, I'm just going to open it. I'm going to thread on and close so that now you have your snowman. Now the great thing about the snowman is he can be reversible. He can go this way or he can go this way. It's completely up to you. But there you go and I hope you learned how to do brick stitch. So I hope you guys enjoying, enjoyed learning how to do brick stitch. I know that the tutorial was a little long this week, but I felt like I needed to go through and show you step by step how to do increases, how to do decreases, and how to do some of the quirky little things in the pattern. Now, like I said, the graph and an actual word chart where it has the row and how many beads should go on that row and what they are, are available on our Etsy site. I also have a new one for a um, Christmas tree on our website or on our website and on our Etsy site, so be sure and check those out. I'm going to try to do a bonus video for you guys this week. If I don't get one done, then for next week, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute 3D Christmas tree pendant. I love it. I think it's super cute and they're they're easy to make and you can make them fairly quickly. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.